In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to give McCree a scope ability. First, you want to set it up to take away secondary fire so that it'll act like a widow scope or any other scope in the game. And then set a variable to false, which we'll use later. Then to get the scope appearance is the button held for secondary fire true and is the variable false so false is the default which will indicate that it's the normal view and when it's true it'll indicate that you're scoped in and you're going to do start camera event player the eye position will be three ads in a row eye position event player and then the next bunch will be shifting it over so it's at the barrel of the gun you can adjust these however you see fit but multiply right by a little bit point one works down a little bit Point two works and forward. Point five works, and that puts it right at the like tip of his barrel. However, with forward, seems to be like from spawn towards point, so you can mess around with that however you want just to make it work as well as you want but this makes it look pretty good as long as you're not facing the spawn doors and look at position will be the ray cast hit position starting at the AI position ending at the addition of the AI position of event player Add that to the multiplication of the facing direction of the event player and a thousand. So it's wherever the reticle would be aimed at. Just so that it lines up when you shoot. And then all this you pretty much don't have to change. Have a short wait and then set the scope variable to true so that it knows it's scoped in <coughs> and then I have this in to kinda take away the fall off damage just because mm -hmm. when you're scoped in you're not probably not gonna wanna have fall off damage so when it's scoped in this could probably should be changed to when the scope variable is true just to make it more consistent and when firing you could do simple way which would still have fall off but it would be stronger than a standard bullet whereas the with a 200% damage modification the furthest fall off will be the same amount as the unscoped maximum amount of damage so with fall off it's 35 if you do this it's 70 but that means if they're close you'll do 140 or you can do all of this which is a bit more complicated but makes the damage basically 70 the whole distance and you can change that kind of easily I'll get to that in a little bit so you set a variable to the distance between the vent player and the ray cast hit position starting at the eye ending at the addition of the eye and the multiplication of facing direction at a thousand just like 
when we did the camera. So that'll store how far away whatever you're aiming at is. And set a variable to subtract the last variable from 20, because that's where McCree's fall off starts. Modify the last variable so that it's at least 0 and at most 25, which is where fall off stops happening. Well, if you had 20. So if it's 20 or less, it'll always consider the fall off distance 0. And if it's 45 or more away, it'll consider it at the max fall off distance. After that, set damage dealt by event player to the addition of 100, which would be normal amount of damage. You could increase that if you want it to be more scoped in just naturally. And you would add that to the multiplication of the distance variable that was just modified times 4 because this is in percent and the normal way to do it would be to divide the falloff distance variable by the maximum amount of falloff but you would have to convert it into a percent but if you just times it by 4 it'll automatically be in percent and this will make it so that within the 20 meters of no fall off, it'll do just standard 100% damage. And at the maximum amount of fall off distance, it'll do 100 plus another 100. So instead of doing 35 damage, it'll do two times that. 70 damage, which is normal damage. And then after you do that, have a little wait. Loop if this is true. And then to return the view, is button held secondary fire true? And is the scope variable true? So if you click the right the right click again and you're scoped in it'll unscope it'll set damage to a hundred just to make sure that you're not doing extra damage it'll stop camera have a little wait and then set S back to false so that it knows it isn't scoped in anymore I'll show it off a second So right now, the view is normal, and if I right click, it will scope in. And again, because it's the forward, down, and right uh, commands, it does kind of depend on where you're looking, how well it lines up. Right here, it lines up exactly with the barrel. If I turn around, ends up at the back. But you can mess around with that however you want, or you can try and have it be a matrix or a vector that it's moved by, which would be a bit more complicated. But yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching.